In the previous video we started a flight to Doncaster and we managed to intercept a 75 bearing towards the TNT VOR and this is currently where we are. The next leg we have to intercept a 62 bearing towards Gemston. And the question now is, how do we know when we are at this point, at right above this VOR? Well, we are in luck. There's a square drawn around the hexagon. The hexagon is the VOR. The square stands for distance measurement equipment. So this particular VOR has DME which means we can read out the distance in the cockpit. All right, we are flying on this uh, heading of 75 and the autopilot is doing a fine job. Let's uh, zoom in a bit on the instruments and we had tuned the radio, the TNT VOR 115.7 in uh, radio 1 and this is the CDI, the course deviation indicator showing that we are nicely on course. Um, and what we see over here is uh, distance 11.2, uh, 11.1, so yeah we are closing in on that VOR. And that's all there is to it. If a VOR has distance measurement equipment and if we are tuned on a VOR localizer, which we can do here uh, either GPS or NAV, or we can also click here on the CDI button to switch to GPS or VOR localizer. And well, this is the DME distance that is shown over here. And now we simply wait until this goes to zero and then we are we are exactly at that uh, uh, VOR. Well, not exactly. The distance is not zero because we are flying at a height of 1500 or no, even close to 2000. Uh, and the DME measures the real distance. So if we are flying on a height, that height will be the minimum that will be shown here. So actually we have to uh, wait until this distance goes to uh, the height that shows here. Well, uh, next video we are going to intercept that 62 radial.